Today we're making a French classic, a potato gratin, which is also known as a potato dauphinois. Now this dish is typically full of dairy. You will have cream, butter and cheese, but we're not using any of those because we're making a vegan version, but I promise you we will not compromise on any of that beautiful, rich and creamy flavour. Now if you want to join me in the kitchen more often and make delicious vegan recipes, just hit that subscribe button to be notified when a new one comes out. And before we get started, we just need to preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit. So in a large saucepan, we'll put it on medium to high heat and we'll add two tablespoons of olive oil. We'll cut one red onion into half moons. Now you can use a brown onion here as well, but I like to use red because it has that added sweetness to it. So the reason I've decided to do half moons for this recipe and not just dice them is because I want those beautiful strips of onion in the gratin when we bake it. Once the oil heats up, just add the onion to it. Saute that for a couple of minutes. Finally mince four cloves of garlic and add them to the saucepan. Give that a good stir and now we'll add in the rest of the ingredients. So one cup of coconut cream, one and a half cups of unsweetened soy milk, four tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of salt, around a quarter teaspoon of freshly cracked pepper, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a sprig of rosemary. And give that a good stir. Now just bring that to a gentle simmer for about three minutes and then remove it off heat. So we've got about a kilo of potatoes here. So instead of hand slicing them, I'm gonna use my food processor on the slicing function. If you don't have a food processor, you still can do it by hand. It'll just take that little bit longer or if you have any other appliances that have that functionality of slicing, you can use that instead. Now I'm using the thinnest setting on my food processor so that they should be about three millimeters um, thick. So for this recipe, it's best to use a slightly waxy yellow potato. So I've gone with Dutch cream for today, but any other potato along those lines would work well. Add the potatoes to that beautiful creamy sauce and give it a really good mix. And we want to make sure that all of the potatoes are covered and this is another part where I've cut some corners rather than layering it. I'm just going to make sure that they're all submerged well before I add them to the baking dish. This saves so much time where you don't have to slice them. So we'll just make sure that we cover all of the potatoes and if there's any clumps of potatoes together when you put them through the food processor, just break those up. Now you'll see that there is plenty of beautiful rosemary in there. Once you find the stick, just pull that out but leave the rosemary in there. So I've just got a square baking dish here that I'm using that's quite deep. I like to have it deep so that you can get that nice height on the gratin once it's baked. So I'm just going to transfer all of that beautiful potato creaminess into the baking dish. Using the back of your spoon, just press the potatoes down so that they're in, submerged in that beautiful sauce. Using parchment paper, I use an unbleached parchment paper, we're just gonna create a cartouche, I think that's how you call it, um, over the top and press that down so that the potatoes cook really nicely and evenly as they're baking in the oven. So we just need to cut it to size. So I'm just gonna measure out the baking dish and you want a little bit extra on the side so when you need to pull it off, it's easy to do so. So just cut it to size. And now we just wanna gently but firmly press it down. So that you can compact all of those potatoes down. So 
So now it goes in the oven for 20 minutes and then we'll remove it and put it in the oven, back in the oven for another 20. Can you hear those bubbles? <laughs> Look at all those bubbles, all that creaminess. It smells amazing. This smells so good. I'm so excited. Let's dig in. Oh, look at all of those beautiful layers. All that rich, creamy sauce with that wonderful rosemary. I mean, that's stunning. Now that you've seen how easy it is to make this beautifully rich and creamy gratin, I hope that you give it a go yourself at home. As always, you can find the full recipe over on our website, theminimalistvegan.com, and we'll link to it in the description below. You can also print the recipe so that it's on hand whenever you need it. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, happy cooking. Today we're making a French classic, a potato gratin, also known as a... Now this... <laughs> sure. Now if you want to join me in the kitchen more often where we will make... Oh my God, my mouth is all... <laughs>